Every once in a while, the world is captivated by an amazing display in the sky, an eclipse, a special moment when all the celestial characters align. Who are these characters? The sun, moon, and earth, and earth, earth to earth, where is the earth? All right, everybody, uh, hold please, cut the music, Dylan. People, we have one more day to bring this show together. Can somebody please find the earth? Sun, moon, take five. Ugh, I need some air. Did you know that some spiders will destroy their own webs during a solar eclipse? Isn't that weird? Yeah, but this is boring. Boring? <laughs> no way! Did you know that the Earth is the only planet in our solar system where you can witness a perfect total solar eclipse? Or when the moon and the Earth and the sun line up, it's called syzygy. S-Y-Z-Y-G-Y. -Y. How'd you like to get that one on the spelling bee? Look. I'm just helping out with the play so I can get extra credit in science class. And so you can wear these sweet solar eclipse glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, aren't you just a little bit curious about the stars and the planets? Science isn't really my thing. Well, what is your thing? I don't know. Comics, stories, drawing. So? I'm just saying, I'm never going to be a scientist. Well, you don't have to be a scientist to be curious. C curious? Yeah. Be curious, following the quest of the ultimate experience. We ask questions and gather impressions. Decode, detect, decipher the direction to be. Be, be, be curious, examining, and imagining, and finding that it's really just you. Your passion and action makes it happen. You're thinking like a scientist. Hey, they ask questions. What? All right, but when's lunch again? I hear you. Well, science might ask, what makes you hungry, huh? Nom, nom. Why is food such a phenomenon? Cause the body needs fuel to go on and on. Since it's all about what you consume, why not ask how it might be affecting your mood? Yeah, what makes it cook and what makes it change? And why do we like to eat different things? Why and what got us questioned? I wonder where we will go next then, huh? Be, 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 be curious. Following the quest of the ultimate experience. We ask questions and gather impressions. Decode, detect, decipher the direction to be. Be, be curious, examine and imagine and find out that it's really just you. Your passion and action makes it happen. You're thinking like a scientist. Hey, they ask questions. Why? Okay, okay, wait. So you're just asking questions and that's it? Well, scientists start with a question, but then you gotta look around through that question and gather evidence. It's like looking at the world through science glasses. Like, have you ever wondered why watercolors and pens and pencils all write differently? Uh, well, what if you did? Try it. Scrap the blank page. You a maker, ink, pencils, watercolors, and properties of paper, as in chemically processed cellulose fibers. I had no idea what that was. Me neither. What makes ink? I'm saying, friend, take it even further. How the colors blend? What kind of answers can we bring to light? Cause art is science. That's, That's science, all right. Be, 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 be curious. Following the quest of the ultimate experience. We ask questions and gather impressions. Decode, detect, decipher the direction. To be, 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 be curious, examine and imagine and finding that it's really just you. Your passion and action makes it happen. You're thinking like a scientist. Hey, they ask questions. So now you're telling me art is science? Well, there's science and art, and there's art and science. Science is everywhere. The colors you choose, it's a science. Music is science. Um, skateboarding, science in motion. Hold on, you say skateboarding? <laughs> 
with me? How you think this came to be? How fast can we go? Can I get more speed? Could we rotate the wheels, experiment with the bearings, analyze the machine, or focus on the pairing? The rider, that's me with the power to push. Duck behind, get low, form maximum whoosh. Hit the ramp, catch the air, I'm flying. How far will I go? To the sky. I'm trying. Ask the question, we're on a mission. Science kicking and pushing that ambition. In the sky, twinkling, wondering how we are. Made of stardust or the stuff of stars. I heard, is it true? I wonder. A twinkle that you see in the stars long yonder. We can figure out how and why, doing long math. Are you with me now? Yeah. Be, 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 be curious. Following the quest of the ultimate experience. We ask questions and gather impressions. Decode, detect, decipher the direction to be, 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 be curious. Examining, imagining, and finding that it's really just you. Your passion and action makes it happen. You're thinking like a scientist. Hey, they ask questions. Why? Well, there's good news and there's bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is Earth is sick. You mean like the planet? Well, that too. But I mean our Earth. Earth has food poisoning. It's ugly people. Gross. How is there any good news? The Earth costume rental comes with free dry cleaning. We're going to need it. Nasty. Important question, people. Did anyone else eat the meatloaf in the cafeteria at lunch today? You should go home. Now! Good luck! So, what's the plan now? I, I don't know. Could you be the Earth? I mean, maybe, but who would run the lights and stuff? Uh, and you? Please, don't make me do that. Oh, plus, the costume is... Uh, don't remind me, I can't unsee that. Any ideas? Oh, why does theater always have to have so much drama? I guess we'll just have to scrap the show. What, really? We're already way behind. We've lost half the team. And to be honest, the show is already feeling a little flat. And now this? I'm a science teacher, not a director. I don't see any way around it. Wait, wait, if the show is canceled, will we still get our extra credit? Hold on. Maybe we can think of something. Like what? I don't know. Is there another way we can explain the eclipse? Such as? Okay. So, we don't have the Earth, but we still have the Sun and the Moon. What if we took their point of view? Like how? Make them characters in a story. What do they think about this whole eclipse thing. The moon's basically a rock, and the sun's a big ball of gas. They don't really have feelings. I know, but when I see it all as a story, it makes sense to me. And science can have a story, right? Yeah. Yeah, keep going then. Okay, so if we like took them and uh, had them here, um, and kind of brought them around like doing, sort of doing this, you know? Doing this? No, no. I mean, if you if you take the emotions and like show it from a different point, and like, uh, I could explain this so much better if I was just drawing it. Okay. Then draw it. Okay. So you got the sun, the moon, and the earth. They're always moving in their own ways, together, but apart. You know. The moon orbits the Earth, the moon and the Earth orbit the sun. Exactly. But the thing is, actually, the sun is much bigger than the Earth. You could fit 109 Earths across the sun's diameter. Uh, if the Earth was this big, then the sun would be like a football field away. But how am I supposed to draw that on one piece of paper? Well, I guess you can't. And that's okay. <laughs> well, what's important about an eclipse is their positions. Right. Because it's like a dance. A dance? Three celestial bodies in sync, in harmony, moving together, but also apart. Then, for a fleeting moment, they line up. Syzygy. Syzygy. All right, you got the Earth in between the sun and the moon. That's a lunar eclipse. Yeah, the moon's big moment. Whoa, all eyes on me. 
See all the eyes on me You can find the life in the shadows Illuminate the way the habitat goes See I be up, I never sleep You get blocked from watching me More than a hideaway, it's like a peekaboo It's pretty too, you'll see it soon And with the rhythm it cycles, the sun goes by Just like a tide Hey, don't get me wrong, sun and earth are cool This moment's mine I get zero to three lunar eclipses annually Where you can see Earth's umbral shadow all over me Partially, maybe totally This is the time when no one goes to bed They staying up to see me red I don't mind the shadows, not a bed I like the view from up ahead Come on, it's on, don't know if this will last too long Cause in a little while I know I'll be done But until then, better turn me up son. Okay, I think I get a lunar eclipse, but what about a solar eclipse? In a solar eclipse, is the moon between the sun and the earth? Like this? Exactly. The moon is about 400 times smaller than the sun, and the sun happens to be about 400 times further from the earth than the moon. So, due to geometry, that's why the moon and the sun look to be around the same size. That's why in a total eclipse, the moon can block the sun. Take it, sun. Shades up, roll up, about the totality line. Above it is smooth when it's been cruised, but earth got that groove. We travel so far around these parts of So, something kind of like that? Whoa. That was out of this world! How did you do that? It just sort of came to me, I guess. <laughs> I've never thought about the eclipse like this before. And you say you're not into science. Well, if science is like this, I might be. <laughs> what do you think, people? Do we have a show after all? I don't know. I mean, we're still missing, like, the whole class. Yes, yes, but... We still have a story, and now our story has a voice. And there's still 37 hours to the show, and I'm sure the others will be well by then. We can hope for the best, and maybe we can work something out. Doesn't hurt to try. I agree, and I think the show is even better than before. What about you two? Are you up to reimagine the story? Will you help me rewrite the narration? Me, but you're the science teacher. Yes, but your creativity brought the science to life. Thanks, uh, sure. Can Dee help too? Of course. At your service. <laughs> you know, I'm full of science fun facts. <laughs> Where do we start, Q? Just tell the story. Okay, Moon, you made those shadows sound pretty amazing. And there's something special about that syzygy lineup. How about you reflect on science as like a story for everyone? What do you think? Yeah, son, your shades make me think about looking at the world through those science glasses. Uh, how do we see science everywhere? You gotta know something about that. Oh, I got an idea. Here. 
Wonder what they're up to. He's got this. Write the stories, draw the conclusions, hypothesize and find what? the solution. So ask any questions, connect the mission, science, kick it and pushing that ambition. Wonder and wander and travel around, science lands on what can be found. Start with your senses, analyze, analyze, gather all the facts, then ask why. Ask why, why what, how, when, where, and who. After some examination, science comes through. Let's understand the world. How do we begin? <laughs> we just do it. Let's go then. Step up, speak out, join the conversation. Everyone chime in for a science celebration. Evidence over here. Experiments over there. Don't, Don't you see science is everywhere? everywhere. Join the party line. We be e be curious. Following the quest of the ultimate experience. We ask questions and gather impressions. Decode, detect, decipher the direction. Cause we be e be curious. Examining, imagining, and finding that it's really just you. Your passion and action makes it happen. You're thinking like a scientist. Hey, they ask questions. We be e be curious. Following the quest of the ultimate experience. We ask questions and gather impressions. Decode, detect, decipher the direction. Cause we be e be curious. Examining, imagining. Imagining and finding that it's really just you Your passion and action makes it happen You're thinking like a scientist, hey, they ask questions I know you're curious, sing it with me now I know you're curious, sing it with me now Na 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 na